Okay, so today we're going to talk about proving lines are perpendicular. Now we haven't done any proofs yet proving that lines are per perpendicular, but we've talked about what perpendicular lines mean. They intersect to form right angles and they have opposite reciprocal slopes. But today we're going to use the fact that they intersect to form right angles to prove that these two lines A, B, D, or excuse me, that B, D is perpendicular to A, C. So we're given that A, B is equal to C, B and that BD bisects this angle right here, ABC. So prove that BD is perpendicular to AC. So first thing we're going to do is rewrite our given. AB congruent to CB, BD bisects. Uh, I'll just fit that right there. This is going to be um, one of the longer proofs we've done, so i got to save some room so I can fit it all on here. And the reason for that is given. Okay, so you're probably wondering how do we prove that these are parallel, or perpendicular? Well, to do that we have to prove that they're right angles, but to do that what we're going to try and do is get them to be congruent. So first we're going to try and get these triangles congruent, which is always a good place to start if you're not really sure where to go, like which direction to go in when proving something. If there's triangles, you probably want to get them c congruent. So next we, we're going to take the definition of bisect, which we talked about in our last lesson, and rewrite or write the next statement. So if BD bisects ABC, that means it splits it up into two congruent angles. So this angle is congruent to this angle. So angle ABE is congruent to angle EBC. Oh, I'm sorry, I wrote that wrong. I didn't write it in the same order. This should be C. B, E. And that's if bisects two angles that are congruent. We have two angles that are congruent. Okay, so now we're almost there. We have a side and an angle congruent to a side and an angle. And if you look, they share this side, B, E, and we've used this many times that BE is congruent to BE and that's reflexive property. So now we can get these two triangles congruent. Triangle ABE congruent to triangle CBE. I'm just going to name them the same way I name these two angles. <laughs> And that's by side, angle, side. And you have to remember that this angle is the included angle of those two sides. See, if we knew that this one was congruent to this one, we couldn't use side, angle, side for that. Okay. So now we can get, like I was saying, we can get BEA. I'm going to use a different color. We can get this angle congruent to this angle. So angle BEA is congruent to angle BEC, and that's if two triangles are congruent, and then I'm just going to abbreviate this so I save space. Corresponding parts are also congruent. So then, if you look, these two angles right here have a special kind of relationship. They are, they are supplementary 
because they form a linear pair, which if you remember, one of our linear pairs is supplementary angles. So then we can say that the measure of angle BEA plus the measure of angle BEC is equal to 180 degrees. And that's the reason for that is if two angles form a linear pair, and I'm going to have to abbreviate that too, then they are supplementary. Okay, so next we can say, and you don't know this reason yet because we haven't talked about it yet, but next we can conclude that angle BEA and angle BEC are right angles. Now we can conclude this because if two angles are congruent and supplementary, then the angles must be right angles. Because if we were solving this mathematically, we knew that they're 80, 180, and since they're congruent, they're two equal parts, we would divide 180 by 2 and get them both equal to 90. So that's why we can say that these two are right angles. So if angles are congruent and supplementary, then right angles. And now we have one last step to say that BD is perpendicular to AC because if right angles lines are perpendicular because right angles are only formed by perpendicular lines. So that's the only proof we're going to do proving that lines are perpendicular. But make sure you come back and watch our next lesson where we're gonna do more proofs using the definition of a rectangle.